In this video, we're going to talk about replacement tyres and wheels for the UDR. It's quite a popular topic, a lot of people upgrading their tyres and wheels for, for better grip or for better looks of the car, but what difference does it really make? Well, what we've done, we've got the standard wheel and tyre here. Now, these are just a standard glue-on wheel. There's no um, nothing other than super glue around there and around there, which holds these tyres on. Quite often they're not done that well from the factory and quite often you have to re-glue them, but these ones are not too bad. And here we have a Vitavon alloy upgrade of a wheel with the Proline Hyrax tyre. Now these are beadlock, which means you undo all these little bolts and this rim, uh, this collar pulls off and it then holds the bead of the tyre on so there's no gluing, so they are better and there's the inner in bead there. These are quite a lot heavier, so I'm intrigued to see how much difference this makes to the actual handling of the car. Now, this wheel weighs 353 grams compared to this one, which weighs about 281 grams. So over the course of having four of these on the car, that is an extra 288 grams or 10 ounces. Now, to put that into perspective, that's actually 4% increase on the total weight of the car. So that's quite a lot of extra weight. So intrigued to so say, intrigued to see how that affects the handling of the car. And furthermore, this weight is gonna be rotating mass. So not only is it just the weight on the car, it's gonna be spinning around rather quickly with these. And I've done some research and it can indicate that it's actually four times the additional weight. So although we said we've got an extra 288 grams or 10 ounces, as it's rotating, that could nearly be up to four times that effective weight. So you're nearly putting an extra kilo on the car if you go on that basis. So that's effectively like having running these tires, but putting an extra kilo of weight somewhere in your car, which, you know, the car only weighs 6.1 kilos. So that's quite a big increase. So it'll be interesting to see how these are. So we're going to do run the car first off with these tires on and then with these. Obviously, they're a slightly different tread pattern. Anyone that's familiar with any sort of motorsport knows that tyres are the be-all and end-all. You can have the most powerful car, you can have the best setup car, be it in Formula One, IndyCar, NASCAR, rallying, rallycross, anything like that. But if you haven't got the right tyre on the car, it will not handle. So we'll see. You can see this one's got a slightly more open tread pattern. The standard tyre usually is a bit of a compromise between durability and grip which which probably rings true with these is quite a close block pattern on these this is a bit more open the diameter of the tire is a fraction different i don't know if you can see it this one's got a fraction a lower di a smaller diameter so the overall um what they call rollout in actual fact will be slightly lower with this so th the car theoretically won't have quite as much top speed but with the weight i think that's more of the issue than the actual diameter of the tires So we did our test. We ran around with our standard tires. We pretty much know how the truck handles. And then we put on the Vitavon alloy wheels and the Proline tires. Well, what was the difference? The truck definitely felt slower. It wasn't accelerating as quick, which would ring true with the extra weight. And also the rotation in the corner, when it started to slide, the point of no return um, came quicker. Uh, once it went to a certain angle of, of slide, it just wasn't coming back. The UDR seems to be a little bit like that anyway, but the alloy wheels just seem to make that even worse. But up until that point, it was actually slightly more controllable, slightly easier to drift. Now, I don't know if that's because the weight calms the power down a little bit or whether it is just having those better tyres on. I'm not sure. So we'll do a little bit more in, uh, investigations into that. So is it worth buying these wheels well if you like the look of them then yes i would go with them but you need to be very careful with the udrs people start putting a lot of alloy parts on these cars and all of a sudden you can add an extra kilo probably more than that onto these cars and then they start to go slower so you put more power in and then you're going to start to break diff gears and things like that so you've got to be very careful so my mind is i will be using these until the tires i've pretty much had it and these 
will be a nice little upgrade which we will use but I wouldn't go out of my way to put them on for a brand new truck so I hope that's been a little bit of an interesting video there something that's um, quite relevant to what a lot of people are asking on these UDRs please do like share and subscribe on the video and on the channel and leave some comments on what else you'd like us to look at thanks very much Thank <laughs> you.